Hello everybody. Welcome back to Larry's Fountain Pens. I'm Larry, the pen bug guy. And I'm going to do a review on a special pen. I'm not going to go to, into depth with this pen because this pen has been around for so long and there's so many wonderful reviews about it. But I just want to give my two cents in on what I think about this pen. I've been debating about this pen for a number of years. I don't like scratchy pens. I don't like dry nibs. I guess I'm picky. But I do tend to get them from time to time, but I live with it. I have tried out various types of pens that I'm going to be reviewing. And I picked the one that suited me the best. So, the pen is called the Platinum Music Pen. And as we know, or well, for those who don't know, Platinum been around since, what, 1919, Japan. And they have just extremely nice fountain pens. I think they do anyway. So, here's the pen, how it comes. This part of the video is for the new people that are getting into fountain pens that haven't really seen enough about how do pens come packaged. Well, it comes in a, a cardboard sleeve, a nice presentation by Platinum, and it slides out. And the pen case is really nice. I like it. Kind of like a velvet finish, velour, really a nice brown, soft, luxury feeling. I, I, I'm just feeling it. And I guess if I'm feeling the case, how am I going to feel about the pen? <clears throat> well, let's open it up. And here's how the pen comes with your warranty, your uh, instructions. which is all in Japanese. It comes with a cartridge because the pen is cartridge or converter. Nothing underneath. I do like the bed that it lies in. Also soft, velour, really nice. <clears throat> they did a great job on the uh, pen case comes in a plastic sleeve and I'll put everything back in. I'll set that aside <clears throat> and put it on my pin cloth. And uh, this is the Platinum Music Nib. Beautiful pin. I like the black and the gold. That really works well together for me. This would be my favorite color beside the uh, Rhodia. Uh, I like the gold finish better. Palladium, nice. I like the gold look better. So, on the right there on the band, It's also in Japanese and in English. Made in Japan. It has three seven seven six. Platinum. So nice clip, secure. Now this pen, the the material, 
the body is made of resin and so is the grip. It's an unscrew cap, which I like. You go down the barrel, there's nothing sharp that would bother your fingers. And there's the grip. Really nice, and the pin does post. And for me, this works the best. For me, just like it sits here. And the gold ring down uh, on the grip and this beautiful 14K music nib, three times the nib. Just beautiful, gorgeous, fantastic. Totally love the pen. And on the nib, it does have the number 3776. Platinum 14K. Music. On the side of the pen, Japan. Very nice. Unscrew the barrel. And it comes with the ink converter that pulls out and put, pushes back in. Nice looking converter. It matches the gold trip. I've already got it inked up with some Robert Oyster Blue Water Ice. A few more comparisons would be the Pelican Topaz, kind of in that same ball game. And another favorite, lovely, this ink is the K. WZ Hawaii Blue. I had to give this a break. Starting to get a little bit low. That's how much I've used it. Great looking colors, all three of them. Favorite blues. So, little more about the pen. The pen weighs empty 20 G's. The pen, when it's capped, 5.5 inches, and when you post it, it's going to be 6.3 inches. And like I said, the nip size is a music 14K go nip, postable. Now the converter holds 0 0.82 mils of ink and the cartridge holds 1.27 mils of ink for those who are interested. So now let's do some writing. That's the best part. And I'm just going to use this empty spot here. As you can see up here, that lovely Pilot Varsity I previously done it on. Beautiful inks. Look at that. Just beautiful. Okay. And we'll get started here with the Platinum. Just a little bit of writing. And there's a little bit of that line variation. And making a few music notes here. Because uh, a lot of musicians would use this type of nib when they're working on music. I'm no artist, but gives you an idea.
Let me do a few little swirls there. And we'll do some wetness right there. It just lays down the ink. Yeah. Well, this is my second time to fill the pen up. The first time I filled it up, I used it a day, day and a half I used it up. So I'm working on my second run. Definitely, for me, this Platinum Music Nib is really just a magnificent fountain pen. And I've tested others, and they were nice. They were good. But this one, for me, took it hands down. But, you know, we all are different. You know, some may not like this pen. They may like the, the Sailor Bader, and that's great. But for me, this works the best. I never thought I would really get it into black because I was burned out on black. But I've gotten into black pens. And for me, the gold and the black work magnificently well together. They blend in so well. Makes that pen look so rich and beautiful. Just a gorgeous looking pen. The kind of pen you just don't want to put down. You just want to keep it in your hand. Yeah, I love it. Can you tell? Well, leave your comments below. What do you think about the Platinum Music Nib? Is it a pen for you? Yes or no? Be honest, but be civil. And remember, don't text and drive. Later, folks.